I'm going to be telling you how I've got my skin from looking like this to what it is now. And you will see how your hyperpigmentation will, will clear. Do you understand? I found peace in your violence. Can't tell me there's no point in Hi guys, hi beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Akune Kamsi and I'm a content creator based in Abuja. And if this is not your first time here, you're very much welcome back to the channel. If there's one question or request I constantly get on this channel is how to fade hyperpigmentation, how to get rid of dark spots, how to get rid of acne scars. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this in full detail. I'm going to be telling you how I've got my skin from looking like this to what it is now. This is what my skin is currently looking like. It's not perfect though, but at least I've gotten rid of my dark spot to some extent, right? So, I want you guys to understand that hyperpigmentation slash acne scars can be very, very difficult to get rid of. With combination of products, being consistent with this product, and you giving this product time to work you cannot want to fade hyperpigmentation today 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 it's not possible so in this video i'll be telling you i'll be showing you product that i use to clear my dark spot after treating my acne the word after treating acne is very important because if you're trying to get rid of dark spots and you still have active breakouts those active breakouts are still going to leave dark spots for you so it's better you completely get rid of the acne before you target dark spots if you understand what i mean and if that's what you're looking for in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell and let's get right into the video the first product i use to clear my hyperpigmentation is spf and sunscreen sunscreen is very very important one of the main cause of hyperpigmentation is sun exposure so you have to protect your skin from the sun if you're trying to fade your acne scars sunscreen is a must you cannot it's not even negotiable you must use sunscreen because one of the things is that when you're trying to fade your hyperpigmentation you're going to be using a lot of actives on your face and one thing about this active is that this active make your skin very sensitive to the sun so if you're not using so if you're using this active and you're not using sunscreen you're just wasting your time you must use sunscreen if you want to fade your hyperpigmentation on your face and also keep in mind please you must always learn to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours and always wear sunscreen whether it is rainy it is cloudy once you see light as far as there is light you must apply your sunscreen so for easy reapplication you could opt for a sun um, an spf spray or an spf stick so there are sun sticks which is very easy for reapplication or you could actually use a sun spray which is also good for reapplication so one of the sunscreen i'm currently using i currently enjoy is this nivea sunscreen sorry <laughs> this nivea sunscreen this is the sunscreen i'm currently using and i'll put the sun stick i also use for reapplication it's not here it's far i cannot go and get it so this is the sunscreen i use but for reapplication i use this sun sticker which i'll put uh, i'll put in the screen whether you're here anywhere i'll put it on the screen so the next product i use to clear my hyperpigmentation is chemical exfoliant so this chemical exfoliant helps to exfoliate your skin and remove any dead skin cells this product also helps to speed up skin turnover which will gently fade your dark spot over time so one of the chemical exfoliants I love so much that actually did wonders for me when it comes to dark spot is glycolic acid. But when it comes to my acne was salicylic acid. But when it comes to fading dark spots, I would tell you to opt for glycolic acid. But if you have current acne breakout, I would tell you to use salicylic acid. But if you want, if you're strictly just working on dark spot, hyperpigmentation, or acne scars i will tell you to opt for glycolic acid With this glycolic acid that i currently use and this is glycolic acid i used while fading my dark spot this is the revlox just glycolic acid seven percent exfoliating toner i'm going to leave the picture somewhere so you see this one i used to fade my dark spot and i'm still currently using this 
glycolic acid toner avoid using scrub physical scrub on your face physical scrub can worsen and will worsen your dark spot because they cause micro tears on your skin which can lead to more and more dark spot please opt for chemical exfoliant instead of using physical scrub on <laughs> instead of using physical scrub on your face up for chemical exfoliants right another product i use to fade dark spots is niacinamide serum i really love niacinamide like i love that product so much niacinamide not only helps to control the excessive oil production on your skin it also helps to brighten your skin which is what you need when fading hyperpigmentation niacinamide also helps in treating dark spots and also stimulate collagen production on your skin one of the niacinamide that I really love and I'm still using and I can vouch for it is the balance. Why do I keep is the balance active formula niacinamide? This product is a very wonderful product. I love this product so much. I've used like almost four going on five. This is my fifth bottle with this product. You, you, you can try to incorporate niacinamide into your skincare routine if you want to fade hyperpigmentation niacinamide is a very 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 good product i love it so much so niacinamide there you have it <laughs> so the next product i used to fade my hyperpigmentation was a brightening toner so if you're trying to actively fade acne scars or hyperpigmentation rather using a hydrating just a hydrating toner you could opt for a brightening hydrating toner which is a win is a win so they look for a toner that has a brightening agent in it right so that you can get all the benefits from it right so the toner i used was this asking well 5.5 liquid rice but ph balancing cleansing toner this toner was what i used and i really loved it you can see it's it's almost just it's finished and i need to i need to buy another one i really really love this toner this toner contains high concentration of liquid rice now liquid rice is an active that help in fading hyperpigmentation and brightening the skin liquid rice is so good this toner is this toner is very 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 good liquid rice is also a powerful antioxidant which prevents your skin from free radicals from the sun i use this toner during the day so after washing my face i go in with my toner so this is the toner i use i really love this this really did marvelous things on my skin the liquid rice in this toner chef kiss it brightens it fades hyperpigmentation it prevents it is an antioxidant prevents your skin from free radicals from the sun what else like this is a very good toner like rather getting a hydrating toner when trying to fade dark spot up for a brightening toner like this one this is very good the next product i incorporated in my skincare routine to fade hyperpigmentation was a vitamin c serum vitamin c is a very very powerful antioxidant which prevents your skin from the free radicals coming from the uv rays vitamin c stimulates collagen production in your skin and also prevents or block pigment production on your skin this vitamin c prevents existing pigment from getting darker so it lightens the pigment you already have on your skin so it lightens the hyperpigmentation you already have on your skin i personally use vitamin c during the day just because since it's a powerful antioxidant and it helps to prevent free radicals from the sun and the vitamin c i use is the roshino vitamin c serum this contains 20 percent vitamin c please as you're using all these actives please wear sunscreen you can see and sunscreen wonders this also help your sunscreen to even work better the, there are two types right you could get either the white one or this black one i use both i use both of them. this one is finished i don't even know why it's finished so i'll put a picture of the white one somewhere in the screen so you can see so you either get this one or you get the white one they are both wonderful like beautiful 20 percent both the white and the black one they both contain 20 20 percent vitamin c and this product is inexpensive it's it's not so much expensive right so i always this is the vitamin c i use to clear my dark spot and i love it i love it i love it as you can see it's almost finished but i'll still buy another one 
I love it so much. So another product I use to clear my hyperpigmentation is Koji Sand Soap. This one, this soap. <laughs> this soap, oh my god, very, 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 very effective. This was one of the things I also used to clear my hyperpigmentation, right? This soap contains high percentage of kojic acid. And kojic acid help in clearing hyperpigmentation and dark spots and acne scars too. This soap did wonders for my dark spots. I'm never going to lie. But there are so many controversies about this soap online, right? There are so many controversies about this soap online. If you get the original one, first and foremost, the thing about this soap is that you need to get the original soap because there are so many fake online. I have a video on my channel that will tell you how to identify the original and the fake Koji Sans soup. I'll put the link in the description box and also put the link somewhere. And I also have a video that will tell you how to effectively use this soap. I'll put the video somewhere here and I'll put the video down in the description box. So check it out. This soap actually did wonders for my skin. It actually cleared my hyperpigmentation. But one disadvantage about this soap is that it can be very harsh on the skin. It can be very, very drying on the skin. So that's why I said you have to know how to use this soap if not you're going to damage your skin. So this soap is effective. I'm not going to lie. It works wonders. Like it, it gets the job done. Do you understand? This soap gets the job done if you can get the original one because there are so many fake, right? now not only getting the original one now if you know you have to know how to use it effectively there are two things either you damage your skin or your skin you actually improve your skin so secondly you have to because it can be very drying for your skin please please you must hydrate and moisturize your skin while using this soap so yeah this was one of the things that helped me to clear my hyperpigmentation so you can check out how to use it effectively and how to differentiate or how to get the original one i have two videos all about this soap on my channel i'll leave it in the description box right another product i also incorporated in treating my hyperpigmentation is koji vit ultra you see this cream i don't know if you can see it but i'm going to put the cream somewhere this is koji vit ultra this is one product i love so much i'm not even going to lie i love it so so much so much because it gets the job done it is a very very good product if you're on a budget right and you want to clear your hyperpigmentation i will tell you to opt for this product why because it has combination of different actives with their percentages in this product so let's talk about the active so it has niacinamide four percent niacinamide it has glycolic acid three percent glycolic acid he has kojic acid diaper mates, 2%. He has alpha abutin. Alpha abutin is 1.5%. He has liquid rice extract, 0.05%. So you see, almost all the active I've, I've previously talked about is in this product. It's just that they are in, in, they are in a little, they are, they are not in high concentration. So it's just like, the, this product is just like little, 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 little concentration or percentages of actives in one product as i said if you're on a budget and you really want to clear your hyperpigmentation please opt for kojic 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 vit ultra this this product is very very good so like i said it has combination it has niacinamide it has glycolic acid it has kojic acid it has alpha abutin it has liquor rice this product has i mean that's five it has five actives that target hyperpigmentation all in one product i love this product so much so if but just that the concentration of this active are small you it might take longer for for you to see the effect after using this i said obviously when you're treating hyperpigmentation you it's not something that will happen now nah, 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 nah. you have to be consistent and you have to be patient while treating hyperpigmentation just that in this product the, there are so many active but the concentrations are little but if you're on a budget, you don't want to break the bank. And you should just want something that is going to clear your hyperpigmentation. I will tell you to opt for this product. This product is very, very good. Very, very good. So another product that I actually incorporated to clear my hyperpigmentation is tretinoin slash retinol. I personally use tretinoin, right? But if you've not, if you're a beginner, please 
start with retinol don't go and start using tretinoin and the tretinoin i use is this men meridian tretinoin currently i'm using 0.1 percent but when i started using tretinoin i started with 0.025 percent then i worked my way up please don't go and carry 0.1 percent and start using you're gonna deal with your skin please start with a smaller concentration if you start with retinol then work your way up currently i'm using 0.1 percent just because yeah, I'm using this product work wonders, the fading hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and acne scars. One of the side effects of tretinoin is that it causes dryness, it causes breakout, you know. But with time, those things are going to fade and then you start seeing the result of using tretinoin. Tretinoin is very good in fading hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and acne scars. And they also help to speed up cell turnover. So when there is a cell turnover, which is like stimulation of new skin cells, so that's how your your acne scars are going to fade over time there is cell turnover there's also exfoliation of the skin so people say oh my skin is peeling it's because tretinoin help in cell turnover and also exfoliate your skin over time the last and final product which i use in clearing my hyperpigmentation is moisturizing and hydrating product please and please hydrate moisturize your skin a well hydrated slash moisturized skin is a happy skin please hydrate and moisturize your skin especially if you're going to be using these actives especially most of these actives can be drying to your skin please moisturize your skin you can't have all this active and not have a good moisturizer you can't have all this active and not have at least one hydrating product snail mucin glycerin hyaluronic acid Please have an hydrating product, hydrating toner, hydrating serums, hydrating essence. Anyone it's fine, but please at least have at least one hydrating product. Use a moisturizer for your skin type. So if you have an oily skin, please use gel moisturizer. If you have a dry skin, use thick moisturizer. If you have a combination skin, please use lightweight moisturizer. Please, hydrating product is a must. Your skin will be very, very happy. We look like a glazed donut. Yeah. So, bonus points before I conclude this video. I want you to know that you need just two or three actives while treating hyperpigmentation, right? You don't need to buy everything I stated in this skincare. I just showed you what I used to fade my hyperpigmentation. Now, these are the things you will not compromise on. Sunscreen is a must. Chemical exfoliant is a must hydrating slash moisturizing product is a must now you can now pick two or three active you can add to these things if you want to treat hyperpigmentation so let's say for example let me just give you an example i have a sunscreen right which i said is a must i have a chemical exfoliant which i said is a must i have a hydrating product slash moisturizing product which i said is a must now i can say oh i'm going to buy a vitamin c serum i'll be using in the morning which is fine then i'm going to get cogivit ultra two actives and you're good to go or you can say oh i'll get the niacinamide serum or then i will get the kojic acid perfect you're good to go do you understand i'm not saying you should go in there and buy everything here yeah. or when you tell you're watching this video be like hey all these things is what i'm going to use do you get i'm just saying buy the sunscreen chemical exfoliant hydrating product then add two or three actives to your routine and you will see how your hyperpigmentation will will clear do you understand so i'm just letting you know so that you don't go and overwhelm your skin with so many actives so this comes to the conclusion of this video if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up Please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video and if you have any question concerning this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer your question and i'll see you in my next one bye guys love you Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you.